There's nothing worse than coming out to your car in the morning, ready for work, ready to get the day started, and realizing they left your light on, hoping that your car turns on. Go ahead and turn it on, and it just doesn't crank over. Foot's on the brake, hit the ignition, and it just doesn't crank over. We're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the brand new product from Oxido. This new product from Oxido is a jump starter and it's also an air compressor. So you're able to jump your vehicle and also fill up its tires. So let's jump right into it and unbox the actual product. So right here at the top, we're gonna go ahead and open this up, slide this out here. It comes in a nice Oxido branded hard case. It has a nice zipper design. So here we have the packages itself. So here we have the actual portable jump starter itself. It has a 11,200 milliamp capacity, which is a big power bank capacity. So that means it has a big battery in here, holds a lot of power and it could get you going many, many times. So it can jump start a car up to 50 times, which is literally incredible for something so portable, so small, so sleek. It looks nice. It has a nice color with the yellow ascents, the Oxido branding right there. It feels nice. It has a nice hard plastic around the whole side it has an air vent right there an air vent on the other side we have a usb output and a usb c input right here on the side go ahead and take a look around it really nice lcd screen on the front it has a 3500 amp peak outputs 12 volt capacity it can that temperatures all the way down to 14 degrees fahrenheit all the way up to 122 degrees fahrenheit so we get a couple cool things that here in the box so we have the jump starter cables themselves that connect into the power bank. We have some different nozzles for the air compressor. Here we have a charger so you can charge your power bank. And then here we have the actual air adapter. So let's go through the basics of how to use this product. So to turn it on, all you have to do is hold this middle button right here for a few seconds. And then the LCD screen will light up. It doesn't look like this in real life. It just looks like that because of the camera. It's just refreshing at a rate that the camera picks up and that your eyes don't. So in person, it just looks perfectly still. So we can go through the modes here. We have a car mode for car tire inflation. You click it again and you will be in the motorcycle mode. One more time, you'll be in the bicycle mode. And one more time, you'll be in the ball or like any football or anything mode. So that's, of course, it gives you a lower PSI. And not only that, but this product comes with a built-in light right here at the top. All you have to do is turn it on and then you can just click this and it turns on this light. So the ring light is completely off. So you can see, we see a lot more here with this light. Click it one more time, you have a flashing light. Click it one more time, you have a red flashing light and it starts flashing slowly like a red amber alert flashing. At the top here, we have the air inflation port. When you're ready to jump a car, all you have to do is lift up this tab right here and here we have the actual accessibility for the jumper cable. So all it is here is just an adapter that just screws into the top port of the actual mobile charger. So now you're ready to fill up whatever you'd like to fill up. You wanna make sure that you have a good amount of charge on your portable bank before you actually go ahead and start up a car with this. Red goes to positive, the negative goes to the black one right here. It has them imprinted on the plastic right here. So that's really helpful. The good thing about this is that it has reverse polarity protection. So in the event that if you were to put these backwards, the actual power bank will not push power through. So you won't have to worry about it like catching on fire or anything like that because it has the reverse polarity protection. So let's go outside and let's test this out. It's also worth mentioning, if you would like to purchase one, click on the first link down in the description below, use my code Julio Mendoza at checkout and get a discount on your whole entire purchase. So here I am outside and there's nothing worse than coming out to your car in the morning, ready for work, ready to get the day started and realizing they left your light on, hoping that your car turns on, go ahead and turn it on and it just doesn't crank over. Foot's on the brake, hit the ignition and it just doesn't crank over. So what do you do from then? Well, you are lucky because of course you purchased your Oxido portable car starter right here in its portable case. Perfect, gets out of the way, leaves you so much other more room. So it takes up little to no space. We're gonna go ahead and start the car. So here we are in the engine bay of the vehicle. And yes, I did kill my battery for the sake of this video. Many people may say it's bad for the battery, but I will do whatever it takes so you guys can get an accurate representation of what this product is capable of doing. Make sure it is sufficiently charged, looking at 100%, so we are good to go. We're gonna go ahead and locate the battery in your engine compartment. This is a Honda Accord and has it right here on the right side of the engine compartment. We have the positive and the negative. You can tell this because this one is a black cover. This one's a red cover. Make sure you figure those out before you go ahead and put this on. We're gonna go ahead and open this cover right here on the side. Insert our adapter here, just like this. Insert like that. We're gonna go ahead and connect the red and the black clamps onto our battery. So make sure we remove these covers, connect this red one. Then we're gonna connect this black one right here. So from here, we let it sit for about 30 seconds. We're gonna wait here for about 30 seconds. The battery's already down to about 96. We're gonna click that, let's check the battery, how it's looking, 96. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go in so here to the vehicle. Let's try to turn it on here. 
and look at that it started this was on in real time so you guys can see exactly how this is working it turned on with no effort i'm gonna turn it back off make sure it's turning back on again perfect just like that look at that see how much battery we still have left we still have 92 percent left so it only used up eight percent of the battery life to do that which is basically nothing so now i'm going to test the reverse polarity protection so do not try this at home so we're going to go ahead and put the red one on the black one and the black one on the red one and see what happens so it makes this beeping sound you guys can hear that beeping sound and that means that the polarities are not right so you do not want to continue on with this so the oxido car jump test worked flawlessly and as if a dead car battery wasn't bad enough to start your monday morning we have a low tire as well to find out what psi what pressure your car tire should have it should be right here in the front driver door sill right here so we have the tires and the spare tire psi right here so the front tire should be at 33 the rear one should be at 32 so make sure that you check on this before you fill up your air in your tires it is visually low so we're going to go ahead and test it right here pressure tool right here push that in there look at how much air is in here a little more than 15 psi which is less than half of how much should be in this tire so we're going to go ahead and set this up to fill up this tire up to 33 psi then we're going to go ahead and preset the oxido power bank to 33 psi so we're going to go ahead and turn it on so it's at 92 percent battery we're going to go ahead to the m mode the vehicle setting so it's at the vehicle right there at the top going to go ahead and adjust the psi down to 33. we're going to connect this adapter onto our tire air nozzle right here push it all the way in make sure it's like some air coming out we're gonna go ahead and close that so get that nice and closed it is nice and snug on there now we we'll go ahead and see there's that much psi in the tire right now about 18 and that's what this tool read as well so that's pretty accurate we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and it should stop at 33 psi And just like that, once it reaches 33 PSI, it goes ahead and turns off by itself. This is actually really impressive considering this is the front tire. So the engine's right there and the car's at a slight downhill. So to be able to lift this whole car enough to fill up this tire is pretty impressive. Like I mentioned, if you guys would like to purchase one, first link down in the description below, use the code Julio Mendoza kit to get 15% off your whole entire order. So not only do they sell these things, but they sell LED lights and things like that for your vehicles. So to remove it, just open this up, remove that. And just like that, you are done. And after starting the car and filling up this tire to 33 PSI, we still have 90% battery life left. So how impressive is that? And still have more than three quarters of the battery left. That is pretty impressive. It only used 10% of the battery to do both of those things. The good thing is that Oxido makes it super, super easy, super time effective to just unscrew this just like that. Put your Oxido thing right like that. Zip it up and you're ready to go on your next adventure. <laughs> There's nothing not to like about this product. It's rather inexpensive considering the value that it provides. Having this product in your trunk or wherever you want to store it is a great investment, especially if you are a traveler or someone that goes out a lot. Make sure to purchase one down the first link in the description down below. Make sure you use my code Kubi Mendoza. Get 15% off your whole entire order, 15% off of this item. They just dropped. Make sure you pick one up, put this in your vehicle, and you won't regret it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.